the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's charity has removed Harry and Meghan from its title, marking a final step in the split between the two couples. Documents published by Companies House Today show William and Kate's foundation is now just called the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. It follows Harry and Meghan's decision to move out of Kensington Palace, where William and Kate are based, and set up their own Sussex Royal Foundation. The move will fuel rumors of a fallout of the so-called Fab Four, believed to have begun with a row between the two duchesses and then William and his younger brother. Royal expert Phil Dampier told the split is a massive mistake, which makes it seem as if the couples are pitting against each other, both personally and professionally. Royal sources have denied the feud, saying it is largely about preparing both couples for their future roles, which are obviously on divergent tracks. But rows over the Sussex's privacy demands and their jet-setting lifestyle have led to further claims they are growing apart from the Cambridges. Royal writer Phil Dampier said the charity name change represents the finality of their spit. He told Mail Online, it certainly brings it home that they are splitting up. I've always thought it was a massive mistake breaking up the Royal Foundation, they were much stronger as the Fab Four. It makes it easier to organize, if you have the same office you won't have diary clashes and things, but also I think they sent a powerful message as a four. Whereas this looks like they're pitting against each other both personally and professionally. He added that he doesn't believe the recent private jet controversy has helped, saying, it looks like they are scoring points. When Harry said he didn't want more than two children knowing Kate and William have three. Meghan saying she didn't want to be on the front of Vogue saying it was boastful, knowing full well Kate has been. A new documentary featuring royal expert Ingrid Seward claims William fears Harry and Meghan's behavior snubs royal protocol. She told the program, I would think it might bother William a little bit, because he might see the way that Harry and Meghan do things as being detrimental to the business of the monarchy as a whole. A fee of £10 was paid to Companies House by William and Kate's charity to file the notice of change of name by resolution, just 14 months after they amended the name to include Meghan when she married into the royal family. But the royal foundation has yet to update the title on its website, which still also features images of the Sussexes. It still includes pictures of Meghan working on her Together Cookbook and Harry's Endeavour Fund which supports injured servicemen and women on their road to recovery. The Royal Foundation website also still includes a section on the Heads Together mental health campaign launched by William, Kate, and Harry before the Duke of Sussex's engagement to then-actress Meghan Markle. Pictures show the two brothers and Kate sprinting along a racetrack with supporters wearing campaign t-shirts cheering them on. The office for the Sussex Royal Charity is based at Buckingham Palace, not Kensington, where Kate and William live. William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan's joint venture was intended to harness the star power of the four high-profile royals. They were dubbed the Fab Four after taking to the stage together at the first, and so far only, Royal Foundation Forum in London in February 2018. At the time, Harry said working as family does have its challenges, but insisted we're stuck together for the rest of our lives. The Sussexes' plan for their own separate charity was unveiled in June this year, and last week they appointed influential media executive Karen Blackett, chairwoman of Mediacom UK, as their first trustee. The rumored rift between the Cambridges and the Sussexes appeared to deepen when Kate and William were pictured taking a 73 pounds flight from Sandringham to Balmoral earlier this month. William, Kate, George, Charlotte, and Lewis were pictured boarding the fly plane to Scotland almost straight after Harry and Meghan were seen using four private jets in 11 days. The Sussexes were heavily criticized for their jet-setting ways after Harry said he and his wife only plan to have two children to minimize their carbon footprint. Supporters claim they would be unable to board a standard plane for security reasons, with Flybe being accused of sending an empty plane for the Cambridges to travel in. The airline has denied the accusations and Kensington Palace refused to comment. It marks the latest instance of the couples officially splitting their responsibilities, amid ongoing rumors of a full-blown royal feud. Documents released by Companies House showed all mention of Meghan and Harry have been removed from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's charity. 
previously known as the Royal Foundation of Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Duke and Duchess of Sussex, it is now known simply as the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The change of name form was published, adding more fuel to rumors of an escalating split. The Sussexes revealed plans for their own charity, named the Sussex Royal Foundation, earlier this year. This week the pair announced Kate Blackett, 48, had been appointed a director the charity. The businesswoman was named number one in the power list of the 100 most influential people of African or African Caribbean heritage from with the UK in 2015. Ms. Blackett was also awarded an OBE for services to the media industry in 2014. However, palace sources have denied a split and said the name change was an administrative necessity. One source told the Mail Online, it was largely about preparing both couples for their future roles, which are obviously on divergent tracks. The name change comes after a royal expert claimed Harry had been used as a decoy for William's own bad behavior. Simon Vigar, speaking on the Princes at War documentary, revealed how Harry served as a useful took for his older brother. He said, Harry has obviously got into some scrapes which have landed him on the front pages of the newspapers. But at plenty of those parties, particularly the teenage parties, William was there, Harry served as a really useful decoy. One expert previously said Meghan will constantly be held up against Kate due to the way she is raising her son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Carol Ann Rice, a motherhood expert and life coach at Real Coaching Co., told Express.co.uk, every mother has their own way of doing things. We know our babies and we do what's right for us. Poor Meghan will always be held up against her sister-in-law Kate, who is an experienced mum who appears to have a traditional way of rearing their children. Meghan is a modern mum who might try a few alternative ways of being a mother and perhaps some of us can learn from these new methods.